guys welcome back to no catch your name it's me ella this is my hashtag 100 days of halloween video for today <laughs> i think it is 90 one days to halloween or 90 i'm not sure <laughs> but uh i missed a few days because of life <laughs> I, I i always have these intentions to record and then the evening time around here is just so busy because of the kids you know they always seem to get the most energetic during the evenings <laughs> But anyways, I'm going to hop on here and talk real quick, and then I will try to remember to put in some clips of me crocheting and stuff, and then I'll talk about the movies. So, first of all, I wanted to show you a pattern that I started today. It's a Halloween pattern. It's by Michelle Strada at Pixie Marie Crates. It's an older pattern. I think it came out two or three years ago, and I've made it before, but I'm making it again because I love her patterns. It's this little ghost. It's called the Happy Ghost. You can buy it individually or uh, in a set of all her Halloween patterns. So, I did just start that this morning. <laughs> I just did all the increases and now I'm about to start doing just a uh, solid crochet to make the height of its little body. And I'm using Red Heart Glow Worm, which I love, Energy Hook, 4mm. So that's what I'm working on. And I did technically finish my spider web shawl. I didn't weave in the two ends yet. I still have to weave in the beginning end and the end end. <laughs> and then I want to um, make some applicates to put on it. It takes me a minute to hold this the right way because there's so many little strands. Takes a minute to find the right ones. Okay. If I can think about it, I'll put a clip in also of me with it draped over my body so you can see how big it is. Because it's actually pretty big. I followed the pattern. I didn't increase it or decrease it any. There are some mistakes in here. I probably miscounted some of the, sh the chains. And I know I messed up some of the triple triples and quadruple triples. Because I kept forgetting which one I was supposed to do. So, But I don't think it matters. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> but it did turn out pretty big size. I like it. So I will, uh, if I can think about it, I'll take a clip of me wearing it. And I gotta weave in those two ends. <laughs> and then I wanna make a spider to put on it. And then someone else mentioned putting a fly, like a fly trapped in it. So I might, I might do that. Or a moth, because I got that moth pattern that I shared the other day. And I already got two moths. I could put one of those moths on there. But I don't know. I'll work on that. <laughs> but I'll link this pattern down below and Michelle's if you wanna check them out. And I'll work on my Halloween blanket later. I didn't get to work on it at all yesterday. Another thing I want to share with you is kind of Halloween-ish, but it's Stranger Things. <laughs> um, I found some fabric that I purchased from this Etsy shop. It's called Fussy Cuts Fabric. It's not going to focus because I don't have a fancy phone. <laughs> but um, it's just called Fussy. Oh, it's got a coupon code on the back of it. How nice. <laughs> Fussy Cuts Fabric. So I'll link that below if I can remember. And so I, she had this uh, Stranger Things print. And I think it, it's got all four seasons represented in it. So it's kind of a busy print, so I'll hold it up there for a second for you, for you to look at. <laughs> but it does have all the seasons represented in the little images, which I like. Now, I ordered a yard of this. Um, and when I got it, I opened it up and I was like, this looks bigger than a yard. Because I always like to open up my fabric and look at it, you know. And so I measured it, and it's a little over a yard and a half. It's like a yard and a half and then like three more inches <laughs> on it. Oh, I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> so I messaged her. I emailed her. I didn't want to message her through Etsy because don't ever message anyone through Etsy unless you absolutely have to. Because it's from the moment they get that message until the time they open it and respond to it, Etsy's watching. <laughs> and if, if it takes you longer than an hour to respond, it counts against you. If it takes you longer than a day, it counts against you. And you can lose your star seller status which will make you not pop up as often in searches. So, like, I have had people message me before on my Etsy about things not even related to Etsy. It's like they just thought they could get a hold of me that way. And that really bugs me because it will mess with your analytics on Etsy. Etsy. So don't ever message anybody on If they have an email, shoot them an email. Because that way, if they're busy with live, because everybody on Etsy is not like a rich shop owner. You know, they're just regular people like me. Um... You know, it gives them time to respond without having to lose their ratings. Anyways, it's longer than yard, like I said. So I I'm, I'm emailed her, and I told her that I measured it, and I told her how big it was. And I wanted to make sure that she didn't accidentally. Like, maybe I ordered it sometimes someone else did. And she, maybe she sent me theirs and then mine. But she said um, that it was fine, that it was probably she had extra. And she just sent it with along with it. So I thought that was crazy that she just sent me... Because this, this was like a $25 yard of fabric, which is expensive to me. 
because I normally buy like Joann's fabrics and Hobby Lobby and it's always like $12.99 and then it's on sale when I buy it so it's like six or seven dollars but um I spent $23 because it was on sale it was like 20% off I think when I bought it um for a yard and I ended up getting a whole half and a little for free so I thought I was purchasing enough to make two bags with like two bag sets um and I ended up getting three <laughs> so that's nice but I'm gonna I plan on making one for myself and one for a friend of mine that loves Stranger Things and then I might put one at the shop <laughs> but um I just love it I love it so much <laughs> and uh I haven't cut it yet I gotta get it in there and cut it they make it like I ordered it uh, like a month ago and it takes a while for them to make it maybe not that maybe like three weeks ago um because I think she gets it printed somewhere I've never had fabric that feels like this it is supposed to, it's cotton woven but uh like you can tell that it was made does that make sense I don't know if that makes sense because like all fabrics made but it feels different than like the kind of fabric you would buy at Joann's um so I don't know if she prints it herself maybe or if she gets it printed like when someone orders because look if you look right here if you know anything about panels it looks like one panel was right there and then the, my panel started and my other end is white as well so maybe it comes when they print it maybe it prints in a yard and a little over half <laughs> uh and she maybe just doesn't want to cut the print up i don't know but i like it and i'm glad that she sent extra it's really cool that she did that she didn't have to but that's awesome that she did uh so i will link her shop down below give it some love if you need some fabric she has all kinds of cute prints i saw an, a pokemon one on there that i want to order to make something for jesse with because his favorite pokemon is eevee and all the eevee Evolutions, <laughs> um, and it has like all the EV illusions on it. Evolutions, I think is what they call them, <laughs> but the EV evolutions on there. Um, so I'm, I might order that, and it's got a little coupon code on the back, so I can save a little bit of money. <laughs> uh, I think she had a sale going yesterday, but I think it was, I think it said three hours till it ended. <laughs> but anyways, I'll link it below. I'll link the ghost below and the spider web below. Now I'm gonna, I need to work on my Halloween blanket. And I'll put some clips into that. And I, oh, I gotta talk about my movies. <laughs> I, I did watch a movie yesterday and I already watched one today, even though it's kind of earlier in the day. So yesterday I watched um, Bird Box Barcelona. I keep hearing noises. It's like it's a baby, but it's Jesse. Um, it was a really good movie, I thought. I was a little, at first, it is, it is dubbed in English. So, you know, the mouths don't match up with what they're saying. But, uh, I mean, it's, you can still hear everything, so it's fine. Uh, I liked it a lot, and it's not a sequel. It is a what do they call it? A spinoff. <laughs> they they are planning a sequel to the first movie, but because of COVID and the strike that's going on, the writers and actors strike, it's been delayed. I think it said something about twenty twenty seven. <laughs> so I don't know if Sandra Bullock's gonna be in it. But um, anyways, the Barcelona one was really good. I liked it a lot. Uh, has kind of like a crazy twist in it. It almost got real religiously, religiously there for a minute, which was kind of turning me off towards it. Cause it's supposed to be like, well, in my mind, they're like aliens or something. It never really says, but then it was kind of almost like a religious twist, but then it was religious not. <laughs> so it was just some crazy people, but, um, I still think they're like aliens or something, <laughs> but I don't know if we'll ever know if they ever make more movies, but it was really good. I liked it a lot. It had a lot of like action in it and stuff. And it had good storyline. I liked it a lot. The actors were good and everything. So I think I'll give it a 5 out of 5 for jack o <laughs> I, I think I liked the first one better. But I liked them both a lot. <laughs> like I would probably watch the first one again. I don't know if I'd ever watch the second. The spinoff again. But I might. Who knows. <laughs> I liked it a lot. And then today I watched the older. It's 20 years old. It's not like old old. But I watched The Ring. <laughs> I had never seen The Ring. Because it came out when I was 12. And uh. Back then, you know, my mom wouldn't let us watch scary movies and stuff. Uh, so I didn't really start watching scary movies until I was a grown-up. <laughs> I, I remember when I was like 18 or 19, because I was finally able to watch like scary movies, I rented back when movie rental places were still a thing. I went and rented every single one of the Chucky movies that were uh, out at the time. And I watched all of them because <laughs> I wanted to see Chucky movies. And I did the same thing with the Jason movies. And uh, now we own, like, all of those. Me and Devin both love scary movies. And Jesse likes the more kid-friendly ones, you know. Uh, but anyways, back to The Ring. I thought it was really good. I thought it was recorded really nice. Like, it looked like a movie that could have came out last year, you know. It didn't definitely didn't come off as, like, a 20-year-old movie. It was the the uh, videography was really nice in it and stuff. I just liked it a lot. It was a really good movie. Then liked when it ended. 
But, I mean, you know, it's supposed to be a movie that gets you on edge and stuff. So, a lot of scary movies like that. I prefer the ones that end happy, but that's okay. So, I thought it was pretty good. So, I give it a 5 out of 5 as well. <laughs> so, I've been on a roll getting some good movies. Uh, I have to go back to one of the free streaming services to get some of the not-so-good movies. The corny ones. But, uh, oh, I watched The Ring on Netflix. And I watched um, Bird Box Barcelona on Netflix as well. But, yeah. So, anyways, I'm going to hop off here now. Because I got to do some stuff. And I will put some clips in later. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> Okay, same day, different shirt. <laughs> June decided to use me as a napkin earlier, so I had to change my shirt. But anyways, uh, yeah, so I did take a clip of the spiderweb shawl. I haven't worked on my blanket yet, but if I do before I edit this, I will put in some of that too. But I went to the Dollar Tree. My sister went there yesterday to ours, and she saw that they were putting on Halloween. So I told Devin that I wanted to go today after I got home from work. So we just got back from there and Pokemon a little bit. So I'm going to show you my little haul. They didn't have all their Halloween stuff out. So I'll definitely be going back in a few days. <laughs> but they had it, some of it out. And I grabbed some. One of the things I wanted was little poison bottles that my sister saw there yesterday. She said they were little like poison. They said poison on them and stuff. and But they were all already gone. Someone already took every one of them. <laughs> which is fine. Because, you know, whatever. But anyways, I grabbed two. Um, all of this is for paper crafting. <laughs> but then some of it's just for decorating. But I grabbed two rows of their um, ribbon. So this one is orange with skulls on it and it says happy halloween i thought that was cute Let's see here it's four yards this one is four yards as well and it is just like a, a halloween print it's got boo and skeletons pumpkins spiderwebs and bones it says happy halloween on it as well and candy corns <laughs> so i got two of those and this is a little tea bag this is meant to i think put on a reef because it was in the, the section with all like the reef making things and they had really cute little like Frankenstein monster and ghost and witch like little stuffy heads, arms and legs for you to put on a reef. But I hate making those wire reefs. I guess I could have got them and crocheted something. But if I'm going to crochet a reef, I'm, you know, I could just crochet the <laughs> character parts. But they were really cute. I didn't buy any. But I did get this little two-pack sign. And it says the witch is in. And then this one says, welcome to our haunted home. I won't put these on reefs probably. But I'll probably just hang them up around the house somewhere. I really like anything to do with witches and haunted homes. <laughs> I really, I want one of those signs. I've seen them before. I think Michael's has them. But Michael's and Joanne's is super expensive for their holiday decorations. Like ridiculously expensive. But it's a sign that says, um, it's not a haunted house. It's a haunted home. And I love that. I want one of those so bad. I have to make one. But I really like this one. It's purple. It's just cute. Anyways, I got those. And then I got two of the little lanterns. I, I, I wish I had now. I wish, like, in retrospect, I should have got two of the black and one orange. I wanted the orange because it's pumpkins. But these are actually pretty big. And they're only $1.25. They're not in the plus section. They take batteries. I think they take two AAAs. Yeah, so I'll, I think I got some AAAs, but I'm not sure. But they got, like, a little fake candle in there. Can you see it? So I'm assuming it flickers. But it's just jack o lanterns I think that's so cute. And then I got one of the skeleton ones. I wish I'd got two of these. Because two of these would have looked good on our mantle. It's not a mantle. And then that pumpkin one just somewhere else. I just wanted it because it was pumpkins. And I like pumpkins. Jack o But I like symmetric. Things being symmetric too. So I, I might grab another one of these. So I could put one on either end of it. <laughs> but I think that's cute. It's got skeleton on it. And it also has the whole lot in there. So I'll, if I can, if I got the batteries, I'll put them in there. And I'll take a clip of it. All right, and then for more paper crafty things, I got two packs of these stickers. They're the same stickers, but it's just, they got kind of like 3D parts on them. I don't know if you can see that they're kind of risen up. But just, and I got two packs of them. Just Halloween stickers for junk journaling, <laughs> which I'm starting up again. I had to take a huge hiatus from that because of the baby. But she's getting a little bit better at letting me do stuff. And then I got two of these, it says DIY stickers, but they're like wooden cutouts and they got little sticky parts on the back of them but they're pumpkins i got two of them so some of them are just plain wood color and then some of them are glittery and orange and these ones are black they got bats in them so i got two sheets of those for um paper crafting as well and plus i'm doing a halloween swap with uh, the same person i do halloween swaps with every year <laughs> and uh, so i thought i might use these in her stuff too 
uh, you know, crafting things for her. And then the last two things about, I, these were impulse buys. Well, I guess it all was. <laughs> but I wasn't planning on buying any notebooks. But I was on, on at our store, the toy aisle was is on this side. And then on this side is like the school. Not the back to school stuff, but like the regular stuff that's always there. Uh, so there's a bunch of notepads and stuff. And Jesse was looking at the toys. So I was just looking at the notepads. And one of them caught my eye. And I seen it. And I was like, oh my god, I'm going to grab that. These are going to be for giveaways in the future. I'm going to add them into giveaways. Um, but they're just composition notebooks that I found. They're wide rule. I prefer college. But um, they're crochet squares. Look at that. I got two of them. The only two they had. <laughs> I dug around. But they look like little crochets, uh, granny squares. I thought that was so cute. And it's on both sides. So I snatched them up to do a giveaway. So one of these days when I do a giveaway, these will be in them. <laughs> I thought that was so cute. But that was my little Dollar Tree haul. And it's mostly Halloween stuff, but a little bit of not Halloween stuff. My sister was also there. She was actually, her and her husband and son were parked out front of it. Because there's also a Taco Bell. They were eating their Taco Bell. And we waved at them when we went behind. And she came in um, afterwards. Because she was going to help me find those poison bottles. But then they were gone. She showed me where they were at. And that they had just sold out, I guess. But um, that's why we crafters. I know a lot of people complain about stuff being put in the stores early. That's why we like it to be put in there early. Because then everybody can get some. Because like if they waited until October to put Halloween stuff out. And someone bought all of one thing. They wouldn't get a shipment in before someone else can get it you know so yeah i miss when hobby lobby used to sell halloween ours did a few years ago it was before covid it was I mean, jesse was like a baby a, a little kid they sold halloween for a few years halloween fabric and halloween decorations and craft stuff because i bought a bunch of stuff from there and then they changed their minds you know the way they do <laughs> and uh but they do still have fall stuff i guess and the christmas stuff <laughs> but um yeah i can't wait to for the Dollar Tree to put out all their stuff. Because I've been seeing other people's hauls. And like other parts of the US. And I want some of that stuff so bad. And I'm afraid I'm going to miss it. If uh, it takes them forever to put it out. But you know they're just now starting. So I'll give them a couple more days. And then I'll go back. Maybe Friday. We're doing. Jesse's supposed to be going to my sister's this Friday evening. To spend the night. And Saturday is supposed to be our family dinner. But we're, we're planning on grilling out. And it's might rain. So I don't know how that's going to work. And also, Devin has a funeral he's got to go to on Saturday. So, if I go to the family dinner, it'll just be me and the kids, which is fine. Uh, I hope it don't rain too bad because of the funeral, first of all. But also, so that, you know, the kids can play outside while we're at my mom's. Because that's where Jesse's swing set is. We, we put it there since we don't have a yard here. When we bought it, we put it at her house. Because then my nephew and Judah, my brother, <laughs> it's so weird saying that, um, can play on it, you know. Because I don't, I don't think I ever mentioned it on here. But my mom adopted a baby who's a month older than June. So now I have a new brother who is uh, 19 months old. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, his name is Judah. I could talk about him now because all the legal stuff is over with. But uh, yeah, so he plays on it. <laughs> and he plays with his knees, which is my daughter. <laughs> this is so funny. But uh, anyways, if I take any more clips of my blanket, I will put it on here. If not... No, I still worked on it because I'm about to go work on it right now. Uh, and I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow in Halloween countdown. But I've been kind of missing a few days, but it's okay. I'm going to pack up all this Halloween stuff so I can take it back in my craft area. And I'm going to try to find some batteries. I think we got some AAAs because a lot of our remotes and stuff take AAAs. But yeah, I'll see. <laughs>